Hi there, let me show you my newest tool, Rockmaster. Once you download it, you'll find it in Asset Browser. It comes with these two items. First of them, the Rockmaster. Let's hide ARM for now. How it works is that the wrapping is created around the cylinder and its shape will adjust to the mesh beneath. So you can see how it follows it when you edit it in edit mode. And in the modifier tab, you can find the length settings and the turn settings. Here you can see when you go really dense with the wrapping, you can see how the mesh overlaps itself. And we have the same effect in the width. And next up is thickness. You can turn it on and off, for example, to speed up the computation. And yeah, these are the settings for it. And then we have geometry settings. The first of them is the standard subdivs. And next is LDIF, which will add or reduce the number of the geometry along the length of the wrapping. Next up are shape adjust settings, but first let's go into the wrap noise. And actually, before we do that, let's tweak the shape of the wrapping into something more interesting. So let's add some length and turns. And yeah, let's also add some density to it. And here you can set the strength of the noise, the frequency and the distortion. It takes a bit to get familiar with those, but they give you a really good control over the shape and they affect the wrapping along its length. So yeah, now that we have the noise set, let's move on to the shape adjust and what it can do. So let's add a bit more geometry to see the detail. And here you have layers push, which will push along its normals, the layers of the wrapping. And same goes for the overlap push. Then with the smooth, you can set it to the overlap to be sharp or very smooth. And the last setting is the tack end, which will let you hide the end of the wrapping. And now let's move on to the snap to surface. You will find it here. And yeah, let's place the cylinder around the arm. And remember to place it so the geometry of the cylinder is outside of the mesh that you want to snap it to. As the snapping is calculated in direction of normals, but inwards. So yeah, let's adjust the shape so it conforms the mesh nicely. Uh, yeah, let's tweak it a bit more. And now that we are set, let's pick the arm. And yeah, that's how it works. And additionally, we have the offset setting for it. And next up is the concept of the pinch. So how it works is that you have a pinch collider and where it intersects with the cylinder of the wrap master there the wrapping will be pinched and yeah so you can see when you move it around you can see its effect and you have the control of the influence distance like this and also you can like duplicate the face so you can have many points like this and next up is the similar concept, but here you influence the width of the wrapping with the collider. So for it, everything works in a similar manner. You also can control the width, uh, like add and subtract, and then you have the control of the influence. And you can duplicate the collider mesh also. And now let's move on to the third settings. 
For it, we have just the two sliders. The first of them is the sparsity. So the higher the number, the less of the tears. And next to it is the seed, which will randomly place the tears around the wrapping. And now moving on, let's look at the materials tab. So with each asset, you get three materials. To pick, you have the bandage, the cloth and the rope material. And if you look at the note tree for them, uh, you have these settings here. You can, for example, color them to whatever color you'd like, like this. But for now, let's leave it at white. And now the very final tab of this modifier is the extra. But before we get into it, let's take a quick look at the other asset, which is the rope asset, which works exactly the same. And so you have also the length settings, the turns, and yeah, all the other stuff. The difference is in the geometry. Here you have this extra setting for sides of the profile of the curve and the other settings which work exactly as they did for the other asset. And the only other difference is the fill caps options in the extra stub. So that's how it works. And yeah, now let's take a look at the other settings in the extra tab. The first of them will subdivide the underlying cylinder. And the second is the tweak overlap smooth, uh, which the lower value will give you more accurate results in some edge cases. And next is the ease border turns. As you can see, when the wrap hits the border it just bounces back and this setting eases this transition and next up is stack bottom layers to make it more visible let's create a dense wrapping where there is a lot of self overlap and what this setting does it will tack all the self overlapping for the layers that are not at the top which will reduce the noise when you have very complicated shapes and finally, we have Trim Start, which similarly to the Tuck End, will help you hide the beginning of the wrap. And this concludes this tutorial. I hope you'll find this tool useful. You can find more about it at blendermarket.com. Thank you.